In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about adding a dark mode feature to your own bubble application. Now, why would you want to add dark mode? Not only does it help reduce strain on your user's eyes, but if I can be completely honest, it also looks super sexy. I mean, who doesn't love a good dark mode? It's beautiful. Thankfully, this feature is relatively straightforward to build out. So I'm going to hand this one over to Luca and he's going to explain everything you need to know. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be going over how to install dark mode into your application. Now, it's actually easier than you might think, and it only uses one condition, and that condition has to be on all the different things within your application. Now, dark mode is actually a really good idea to build in because it actually helps with eye strain, plus it just kind of levels your app up against your competitors, plus it just looks quite cool. So here we have an example that I've built out. We've got a little toggle um, on our application, and when we click it, you can see that we're turning from light mode to dark mode. Now, you can just have this within the settings page of your application, maybe, um, instead of having it on every single page of your application. Or you could actually do something where it is automatic. So, for example, you can get the current user's location, and then on that, you can say at, like, 6 p.m., it changes from light mode to dark mode when the sun goes down. So you can do lots of really cool things with this. So for example, so if we jump over into our bubble editor over here, let's see how we achieve this. So it's actually really, really simple to do. All you actually have to do is create a field. If we go to your data tab here on the current user, which is dark mode and that is a yes and no field and i've just set the default to no so it's by default on light mode but for example if i was to recreate that all you do is create a new field type in dark mode set the field type to yes and no and then you just click create so that's all that you really have to set up the annoying thing and this is more annoying if you already develop your whole application potentially is that how we're getting things to change color is that, for example, the background of our page here has the condition of when the current user dark mode is yes, then we're setting the background to black. And it's exactly the same for all of the text in the application. Um, and obviously it's white when it is dark mode because it's against a black background. So you're basically just inverting the colors. Now, this could be a really big issue if you've got to go to every single page in your application and manually copy and paste all of those conditions in. It could take you quite a long time, but I actually have a little solution for that. And that is actually editing the style. So for example, what I've done for all of the text within the application is I've edited the style and added that condition so that anytime a text is the default text, um, so I've just dragged from the visual elements text over here. So if I just show you what I mean, if we go into the styles tab here, and what I've done is I've actually gone in and edited the text. So if you go into the element type and find text, and then you just choose the body, because that is the default that you can pull from on the sidebar in the design tab. So if we click on the body, you can see that I've added in for all of the text elements that I've added to the page. By default, they now have the current user's dark mode is yes as a condition, and then it will change the font color to white. And as you can see, you can apply that style, or that has added the style to all of the text elements. So if we go back into the design tab, and I drag a text element, and I go to the conditions, you can see when the current user dark mode is yes, and then the uh, property is defined in the style body. So that's just where we've come from. So if you have already built out your entire application, you could still, providing that you just drag from here and just use the default text, um, providing that, then you can definitely change all of your text over to dark mode in a relatively short space of time. So how have we actually created the button to adjust all of this? How have we created this little toggle? What we've done is we've just placed a regular button. So if we rebuild this here, what you'd want to do is go over to your visual elements tab, grab the button, place it onto your page. Now I'm putting in the default mode is mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the style from the button. I'm going to turn the color of the button over to black. And then I'm going to keep the text as white. I'm going to go over into the roundness, set that to 10. 
and then go to the layout and I'm going to put 10 pixels on the top and 10 pixels margin on the left. And the last thing is I want to make it a single line. So I'm going to change that to 200. And there we go. We've got our button. Now, when this button has the condition, we remove this default condition. If we add a condition to this button, and that's going to be the same as all the other conditions. So when the current user's dark mode is yes, then we're going to change the text. And then we're going to have to say that now the dark mode is on. We're going to change the background color to be white and that's all we're going to change so the next thing we need to do is actually just create the workflow for this button so if we go onto our appearance tab and click start and edit workflows what we're going to do is we're going to define this workflow for turning it on and then we're going to create a completely different workflow for turning it off so if we do turning dot on what we're going to want to do is we're going to do make changes to the current user and what we're doing is we're turning the dark mode on so we're turning that to yes and we only want this to occur when the current user's dark mode is no now with this condition that we have just set up here you wouldn't want to put it on this action and then just do a different action because what will happen is this workflow will always run and then it goes through the first step, which will be turning it on. And then at exactly the same time, it almost like a split of a second, it will run through the other one and then it will turn it off. So it will essentially just do nothing. And then you'll be wondering, why isn't this working? Because even if you put the condition on this action, those conditions will still be true because you'll be turning it on and off. So we actually need to put the condition at the workflow level and then copy and paste the workflow like we're going to do now. So if we copy and we paste, what we're going to do is change this now. For we only want this action, so we're turning dark mode off happen when dark mode is on. And so we're turning the dark mode off. Perfect. So if we just preview our application again, it's going to look almost exactly the same. We've forgotten to change our font to black. As you can see, all of the other workflows work perfectly fine. All that we really need to do is go back into our design tab and add font color. And we want our font color to be black. So if we preview our application again now, you can see that we have a fully working dark mode. And if you wanted to have this button on every single page of the application, again, you could go into the style of the button and change that for your whole application instead of just one button that you're adding in. Um, but yeah, ultimately, if you're starting to build a fresh application, then I would say it's a good idea just to start up those styles, just so that you don't really have to think about it. And when you build your application, you can just pop one of these toggle buttons in your settings page, and then that feature's fully built for you at the end of your build without really having to think about it. So that is how to install and build a dark mode feature into your application and I hope that helps you with your current build. And just like that, you now know how to add your own custom dark mode feature into any application you create inside of Bubble. If you found this video useful and you wanted to stay up to date with any additional Bubble resources I share, I'd always recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can be the first to know whenever I drop a new tutorial. For now though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.